Welcome, my name's Drew, and you're watching an unboxing video of D-Drum's hybrid hi-fi five-piece drum set. Before we start tearing this thing open, I just wanted to cover a couple reasons of why I picked up this particular kit. I do play in a metal band and we will be covering most of the United States this season, so I wanted to make sure I had the right kit in the trailer ready to go. This kit in particular has the triggers mounted on the inside, so you can use them acoustically or electronically. So if you're at a show and it's one of those floor shows and they got a good PA but just not enough mic channels, you just throw a stereo thing out of your DI and then you're down, you're up three mics already. So you really only need three uh, channels to properly represent your drums. So you have one overhead and then your kit. So that's a big plus. I also already have uh, like a maple kit for my studio and I have my electronic kit. This one fills the hole in the studio for that um, more metal sound because it's birch. So you're gonna get lots of good thud, good attack. Um, and then with the triggers, you can do some cool stuff. One, you can take the MIDI performance right there and you can blend it right in if you're doing any sort of sound replacement, if you don't happen to have a really good live room or anything. Or if you're in a good live room with good mics, you can actually use the triggers to trigger a MIDI gate or actually an audio gate. You just set the input, you need a couple more channels to do that, but it makes the gating so much more natural at that point. So there's a couple benefits why I chose this for my group of drums that I have and it fits a very good one. And the other one, it's not terribly expensive. And just because it's not expensive doesn't mean it's not good. But at the point the trailer rolls over, the gear gets lifted, stolen, whatever, you're not gonna cry that you lost your $10,000 drum set. So let's get to it and start tearing it open. So here it is. I got the two stacked on top of each other here. Let's find out what's in the small one first and save the big one for last. So let's see here. Trust the knife. Now I do have to say that there is some damage on the box, so we're going to see how well it actually is packed to survive the perils of FedEx, because that's the way it came. So I do have to say that I did put my order in right around the time NAM ended, uh, and they were on back order a little bit. Um, they were fairly responsive um, to getting everything that we need uh, right away. So, uh, and the actual time it shipped to the time it arrived was a very short period of time. It was only like 48 hours. So good, good turnaround the shipping, but it was back ordered. Sounds like a snare drum to me. So we'll take a look here. I did opt for the Hi-Fi because it has the traditional 12 or 10, 12 and 16 and a 22 inch bass drum. The um, smaller kit just really wasn't conducive to what I played. So, man, this thing looks great already. Let's take a look. Good safety tip when you're using the knives like this. And I'll show you in a second, I'll do a close up. Um, is you don't open them all the way. Because if you open them all the way, you run the chance of scratching your gear. So just put the very tip out, and that way you won't scratch your gear. So this comes with the D drum heads. I uh, don't know what they're going to sound like right away. That is a good looking kit. They come light tensioned. So I'll show you here. You can see that the drum itself is matte black with red hardware. You get a standard lightweight head. It looks like a single ply coated on that one. So we'll see what it sounds like. If not, we'll just uh, Change it up for some uh, two ply. Yeah, tuned up kind of high, but we'll we'll make that work. Uh, we got isolation isolation suspension mounts. This thing is uh, pretty slick looking, not gonna lie. Hardware looks solid. And you have here an integrated XLR jack for your cable. Now surprisingly, this 
pretty awesome that there's not a lot of assembly. I've gotten drum kits before where they pack all the shells inside each other and you got to put all the heads on and stuff like that. I mean, this is pretty much ready to go outside of the box, which is a big help. Okay, so this the big box. Let's see what's in this guy. Remember, just the tip. Ah, so the rest of the kit is disassembled, but there is some good packing in there for everyone. Um, I got the, the final floor tom and bass drum. What kind of heads they give you today? Standard, about maybe seven, eight mil, uh, single ply with a dampener ring. So good for just thumping around, but you want to change that out. Uh, Something that's a little more durable if you're going to start wailing on this thing right away. But that's the case with any drum set when you get them. They don't know what heads you're going to play. So they give you whatever's laying around or they just give you basic. So, but this should do okay. And then the front head, uh, D drum head. So if you want to sport the logo, um, but if you're gonna play live, you're either gonna to have to cut a hole or, or switch it out, one of the two. So. so here we have the floor tom. And it's really nice of them to assemble this this way. It's really nice. You got your triggers in there. I'll get some close-ups for you of the the assemblies. Oh, look at that. Now this is the question that I had um, basically all along was where they're going to give you forks because they didn't really show, didn't say hardware, but they actually give you a, uh, a knuckle and a, uh, a stand clamp so you can actually uh, clamp this to uh, any cymbal stand you have already. So, um, and I don't know if you guys have ever checked out any of this stuff before, but if you want a good double uh, um, tom mount, uh, they're decently expensive. So they save you some good money here. And once again, for the price of this thing, it's fantastic. These can cost $40 alone just for these. So good job, Deidre. Thank you. For the black. Be good if they were black, but I'm not picky. So I'll be able to put your free drum key. Always got to have one of these. You'll go in the fishbowl with all the other ones. A little packing here. Cardboard. Very nice of them. Free set of bananas. I think. Actually, not too bad. Good job again, Deidre. Alright, what else we got? We got all the bass drum hardware, which is black, which is great. And it looks like they gave me an extra lug for stuff. So, good stuff. Good hardware stuff. And the bin. We got our hoop here. It is a wood hoop, which is fantastic. A lot more flex for even tuning. I'll unbox that later, but it is wood. And our bass drum. This bad mofo. Now, the cool thing is, D drum actually offers um, auxiliary drums for this kit. So you could fill in with the smaller snare, the 13 inch snare. You could pick up another 22 inch bass drum. Um, so if you're the guy who's got to have two bass drums, like I like to have, um, you can get it and it's relatively cheap too. So um, it's expandable, it's well made, what I tell here. Um, the hardware is on the bass drum. I've seen a lot worse for this price point, um, looks pretty solid. So I can't, I can't really pick out anything on this thing yet that I'm not liking. So all in all, I'm very happy.